so this is rahul and yeah so what i wish to bring to your notice is the is that obviously uh, the lockdown is very much a very a long drawn out situation a very meandering process which may take months and probably take many months with no end in sight and that's probably the reality that we three are facing and I'll, i would like to compare the situation of coronavirus with a particular war like situation where all the supplies are short where uh, people where there is a certain curfew that is being followed in the in the locality and that's what like a coronavirus situation is it's, it's more like and yeah and that's very bad yeah and so it's necessary to you know bring to light uh the empathy like to bring some empathy uh into our lives uh to go easy on ourselves because this is more like a as i said this is a this is more of a war like situation and it's necessary to go easy on yourself you know and uh, mostly uh, what i have done is i've started uh working a little less than what i usually do maybe If I work, if I work hundred percent in a non-lockdown situation, uh, maybe today I'm working like forty to fifty percent, thirty to forty percent of you know I'm working that much, so my pro productivity has lessened. But is but considering the type of situation which we are in, it's necessary to not guilt ourselves, like you know, feel guilt of that situation, or maybe. Uh, punish ourselves for not doing a certain task. It's necessary to have some empathy and go easy on yourself. So, uh, yeah. So, what I tend to uh, like when I say about going easy on yourself, doesn't mean slacking. Of course, yeah. Going easy on yourself means uh, working on things that are inside our control. so those things which are really inside of control like you know simple things simple things like waking up you know or inside of control uh reading reading so uh, reading learning so then you know completing a small task which are absolutely uh, in our control and which will we will not be overwhelmed by that yeah it's necessary to like work on things only that are inside of control not Uh, not put our heart to external things, and it's necessary to do that. The problem uh, which we are really facing is uh, our professional and personal lives are getting intertwined. Mostly when when there is not a lockdown situation like this, what happens is we we keep our professional lives separated from our personal lives, so we don't really work at home. people who work at home they have a habit of doing that mostly because they feel uh, feel okay with that but not with me that is not with me so i tend to keep my things uh, the, the things i work on outside my home like you know, i just like when i enter my house i don't really work so the problem in this uh, lockdown is actually that like our personal and professional lives are getting mixed up totally mixed up that's fucked up because uh whenever i used to have some personal health issues you know so that doesn't you that that never used to affect my professional like you know my the work which i do even if i like even if i have the habits but still i used to work i still i could work with, without the lockdown situation but during the lockdown situation that becomes a problem that becomes an a totally gigantic issue because because there's a too much of a intersection of the personal and professional life and that's really a problem so yeah so so yeah so that's the problem we are facing now and so as, as i said like i am going easy on myself and working a little a little less 
uh, approaching stressful things in a very calm manner and that's what i need to do because otherwise i'll be just hitting walls and that, that won't be a great situation to be in and that's why yeah okay and that's what uh, wish to wish to tell also i wish to bring to your notice a new branch of philosophy philosophy uh, philosophy i've encountered uh this philosophy was like you know this philosophy was born in the classical age like classical age is uh, the classical age is before the medieval age okay so before the 5th century before the 5th century uh, medieval age is between 5th century ad and 15th century AD. so the classical age is uh, before that so this theory was born uh, what we say the classical age by zeno so zeno so the philosophy uh, the name of the philosophy is stoicism so stoicism what it what it uh, tries to tell is that we should uh, endure pain and hardship without complaint so that's what uh, stoicism is all about I, uh, yeah so stoicism is about that and one of the more uh, biggest proponents of it is a guy named marcus Marcus, okay, Marcus Aurelius. I don't know how we spell his sec the second name of his, but okay. But uh, his name is Marcus Aurelius, and uh, he was the Roman emperor in around one sixty eighty, one sixty eighty, okay, one sixty. Uh, yeah. So he was the Roman emperor. So Rome is in Italy. Rome is in Italy. So he was the Roman emperor at that time. And what happened is, uh, a, the biggest plague hit his empire. So this plague lasted around fifteen years. So this plague was called the Antonine Plague. So this Antonine Plague uh, almost wiped most of Italy, and it was very, uh, very deadly plague, and it lasted around fifteen years. So yeah, so at this at that time he. Uh, Marcus Aurelius uh, promoted this theory heavily, Stoicism, to endure pain and hardship without complaint and anger. Yeah, and that's what Stoicism is about. Uh, these are some of the quotes uh, of Marcus Aurelius, Marcus, and from the other uh, Roman philosophers who, you know, promoted this theory, this Stoicism theory. So this plague of the Antonine plague lasted around fifteen years, and also there was another plague which uh, so, uh, was the plague of Cyprian, I guess, in the third century. I guess it was hit, hit in third century. It lasted around you know, eleven, twelve years. So that's a lot of time, and it's really I really can't imagine how those people li lived. Because the average, uh, the average life expectancy dropped, you know, uh, dropped around twenty to thirty years. So that's like, yeah. And I'm twenty two right now, and yeah, and it's really hard to imagine how people lived in that and how this uh, Marcus guy handled his country. And it's really, uh, really can't imagine how. Because he lost most of his relatives, this Marcus guy, he lost most of his relatives due to the plague, and it's uh, yeah, fifteen years is a long time, and also Marcus he himself died due to the plague, yeah, and that's a very sad story, and uh, considering that, I guess uh, considering that if that is a worst case scenario, we are still coronavirus is really is such a like okay scenario if you may say, and so it's yeah. So stoicism is more about that which we consider the worst case scenario that can happen, and then too we stay cool about it. Okay, we stay cool about it. And that's what the stoicism theory is about: negative visualization and being okay with the circumstances that are put forth, and accepting things as they come. That's what stoicism is about. And I think. Uh, during this lockdown situation stoicism can help you a lot and i recommend you to 
go to uh, watch YouTube videos regarding it, read read some of the quotes and stuff, and really, yeah. and yeah, uh, and I would like to end the vlog, of course, and like to, and I would like to end the vlog now. Okay, thanks.